Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the start of day number 676, which is October 26th, 2016. That's a lot of sixes. Um, not as many as last time, though. Anyway, welcome back to the vlog. We are going to go um, to the train station as per usual, but I'm going to backpedal a little bit. You know, I hate backpedaling because I guess I owe you guys a little bit of an explanation for what happened yesterday. Because, I mean, I started off yesterday's vlog with about half the battery left on the camera, which normally for a vlog day is pretty good because it's really just this back and forth plus maybe a few clips shot downtown. However, that plan changed when they were like, hey, we need to shoot things on someone's cell phone. Who has a camera working? And the vlog camera was was chosen, and we killed the vlog camera literally right after that clip yesterday of Kevin walking away. So, um, yeah, so I was kind of left vlog camera list for most of yesterday after that. Not that it really matters, because, I mean, really all you guys needed was an explanation for that, and I came home after doing a midterm term and watching a film about, uh, making sure to get adequate time between sets and things so you know it's whatever because it is what it is it died deal with it anyway on to today today is production workshop now we got the rosters last night for who actually won each and um so we had three people running for director, Bethany, Tristan Allen, and Kevin Quinn, all of whom you might remember from the vlog because, well, Bethany is on frequently, and I mixed both Kevin Quinn's and Tristan Allen's sets back in the day. Well, actually, I mixed all three of their narratives back in the day, but, yes, yeah, so I've actually worked with all three of them before. So uh, Kevin Quinn and Tristan Allen are our directors for Production Workshop, and that's going to kind of be the... Uh, where we're going from here because sound is not above the line as it's called which long story short above the line people are the the creative we can't make this movie without them people below the line people are all of your all of your workers who also make the film but you know are able to get fired on a whim so yeah that's where i am at the moment uh we are i am practically below the line i will be not exactly pitching but um, more, I've been told it's like speed dating, speed dating for sound, um, because I need to get picked on with one of the two directors, and I'm going to try to run for sound designer, because, you know, why would I not run for sound designer? Um, that will put me as, as a department head. I've been told that Bethany is now running for production design now that she did not make director, so she... Is actually, I was thinking she was going to run for sound and compete with me, but she's not actually competing with me. Um, so, she's actually not even running for sound at all. She'll be in a different department completely. Um, and I think Liz is going to try for audio post, but because everybody has to have a position on set, I believe, we are going, she's going to have to run for something, maybe boom up under me, hopefully. Because I would like that. But also, if we're trying to switch things up a bit, it's not the best idea. So, would I like working with Liz for, for a boom up? Yes. Um, but will it happen in the ideals of the class? I don't know. We'll find out tonight. Um, well, not really tonight. Just a few hours here. Class starts in an hour and 15 minutes. And uh, speaking of things that happen in an hour and 15 minutes, this train is not here yet on the other side. So... Might be walking again today, but that's okay because Mark's on vacation. Um, but yeah, so that's about it. It's production workshop today. It's about it. Made it through Tuesday. Make it easier. Oh, and if you're wondering about that presentation I said I was going to do, that was the other thing I needed to mention. I did not get a chance to do that yet. That has not yet happened. <laughs> oh God, allergies, please. Anyway about it for the morning morning portion it's time to head downtown and um, actually wait the train did come the train was actually completely on time what well actually the train was apparently completely on time 
or something. Or maybe that she was, I, you know what, I have no idea. These are not the, the permanent drivers, so I really don't know what's happening anymore. Because um, there's no reason really for her to have been there unless she was dropping off people from the round. And I don't know why she, after she dropped them off, she went back the other way. Whatever. I am off to go to train station and go catch a train. Because that is what you tend to do at a train station, unless you're us during our high school years where we loitered and ate pies, but that is a tale for another day. Alrighty then, vlog viewers, let us get started on this road to go back to home planet, aka just my house, because I'm already in the car, oh god, my jaws. Slightly sore, I guess, because I keep fucking going. I literally yawned so wide at one point that I hurt my fucking jaw because that's just what I do, I guess. I really wish my car would warm up because I would like it to get just a little bit warmer in here than it is now. Because quite frankly, I did not want to bring a jacket today because it was uh, a really nice temperature today. But now that it is dropping closer and closer to that freezing mark, um, yeah, I would like to have a little bit of heat. Not drastically much so, but just enough to to especially wear my little tootsies down there because I have it projecting down to the to the bottom of my car. You know, for for only the the important areas because it will rise to the top. Hopefully by the time we get home. But anyway, um, yeah, he does rise <laughs> when it actually works. However, it is still much more better, much more better, more better, more better. Uh, than my other car, the uh, the good old Century, because yeah, the, the heater did not work at all. So it was like I was driving a frozen waffle in the the winter, and I was driving a fucking toaster in the summer. I wish I could drive a frozen waffle. That'd be wonderful. Just like it was just a waffle that you could drive, like, and it was frozen. Especially during the summer, that'd be wonderful. And then it would like get hot, and then you would just smell all the cooking waffle, and then it would be like wonderful. And you'd just be like, I wish I could also drive. And I would like start a trend, and like everybody would be driving waffles instead of cars. That sounds wonderful. That is my idea of a utopian society. Somebody get on that shit, patent that idea before I get my ass around to it. Um, because, you know, somebody should make money off these ideas. Off of my daily ranting and raving and all that nonsense that I just spew from my mouth onto this vlog. Speaking of nonsense, oh god. Light, please, no! 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 Okay, we made it. It's fine. Um, where's I going with that? I don't fucking remember! Um, because I just started screaming at traffic lights again. Uh, you know, just the usual thing that happens on the vlog when when I get, I don't know, fuck. But anyway, yeah, today was was production workshop, and I pitched really hardly to be sound. And I had Liz kind of pitch to be my boom op, so hopefully Liz and I can wind up working together as a team, like I was talking about this morning. And we did all that, it sounded like pretty good, and I probably got both teams to want me. Which it was my goal. I desire to be desired. That is that is my philosophy. Speaking of philosophy, I have to take a philosophy elective next quarter, and I have to register on Friday. This week is going to be a little bit busy. I guess I'll move a little bit in advance because it was just production workshop today, and then Mac Martin. You know the typical Wednesday things that have been happening for the past few Wednesdays, except for I didn't go to the Army Sam this time. But um, so moving on to, well, tomorrow is just Thursday. It's my art history and that's just about it. Friday morning is class registration for winter term, which means I have to be up early and uh, registering and all that fun stuff because it's seven o'clock in the morning. At least it's not at 4 a.m. like it was when I was in LA, but still it means I have to go do that, which means I have to plan out my schedule, which I have like two classes planned out of the six or seven that I planned on taking. So yeah. It's, it's gonna be a, I have to do some planning and sit down tomorrow to plan that because I'm not gonna get done tonight. And then I have an equipment pull for the Dragon production shoot on Saturday. That's of course on Friday the pull is. 
so yeah, I have, I have that Friday, so I get to go pull equipment tomorrow, or not tomorrow, tomorrow is not Friday, tomorrow is just simply Thursday, simple, plan all Thursday basically, um, but yeah, so I have to go pull equipment tomorrow, or no, no, I literally just said not tomorrow, not tomorrow, not tomorrow, Thursday, no, not Thursday, Thursday is tomorrow, Friday, fuck, Roll that back. Let me start that over. So tomorrow is a regular Thursday, and I only have art history. Um, then Friday is the equipment pull for Saturday's Dragon Production thing, which is it, uh, which is Saturday night. I think it starts at like quarter of seven. There. Now schedule is straight. And then of course I, I have the Nomad, and I can play with Nomad and fuck around with Nomad tomorrow. It'll be fun. But then I also have. Um, I have to do the equipment return on Monday, which means I need to bring in all the equipment on Monday, so, you know, fun. Fun, 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 fun. Um, but I don't really know exactly what the job is going to be, so I just got out a bunch of gear. I got out a bunch of gear uh, Monday and got approved for it already because they changed the way we have to do approvals now. So, yeah, that's all done. That's all fine and dandy, and it's all completely completed, and uh, it'll be ready for me to pick up, and I am pleased, and it'll be happy, fun times galore. Um, yeah, that's the weekend. Uh, except for one small plot twist, my parents aren't going to do you home this weekend. Bum, bum, bum. Which means I have the whole fucking house to myself and my sister and probably Sarah. So that's not really to myself at all, but you know, whatever will go with it. Um, because my parents are going away to celebrate my father's birthday, which was last Sunday. The 23rd, whatever the 24th was. 23rd was. The, you know, whatever the 24th was, that was the 23rd. My God. I've said so many fucking stupid things in this one video. My God, how do people watch this shit? Even I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, that's why nobody does. Um, except for the three of you that have watched this so far. Congratulations to the three of you. But anyway, um, where's it going with that? Right, my parents are going to be here this weekend, which means that I'm on my own to take care of fucking everything. Um, by which I mean I'm going to take care of nothing. This guy is going to pull out in front of us and slow us down greatly. Because that is just what people live to do uh, in my life. And, and, yeah. But I think that's actually pretty much it. My jaw is hurting from talking so long. I have extended onto the, the really long way home. Um, and uh, the heat has finally kicked in and I am getting actually rather toasty and I'm probably going to turn it down as soon as I cut the vlog segment but let me cut the vlog segment first so you're not getting jammed into the heater so uh tomorrow Thursday be there